Okay, man, I think we've got one more video here. All right. Uh, damn 2019, and it's going to feature you. Me? You. We, we, I shot video of you. Um, and this is sort of the sights of and sounds of Nam 2019, right? Featuring Matthew Quayle, and you have some interesting interviews in this video. That's right. You interview a giant amplifier. That's right. A giant guitar. Right. And your brother. That's right. Who is a bass player. That's right. Oh, your brother. Yeah, your brother was visiting, and um, my brother Nick. Your brother Nick, and he's a bass player, and uh, he comes along when it schedule allows because he's got uh, some show that he does in Utah about the same time. Yeah. Now explain what you you know your brother was kind enough to appear in the video, so let's give a plug to his his business here. Okay, so my brother has a company called the St. George Company, and he has a very a number of products. A lot of them have to do with. Um, mulching and what have you but this the the show he was at was, was a mulching uh, mulching mulching it's it's a instead of the cutting you just take everything and is branches it, grass everything and you just turn it into mulch and, and the and show just, he's at the times a, with this is what it's a ski hill manager show in utah okay and then he's promoting a piece of machinery that you use in the ski hill industry okay what's the name of that product it's called the Ski Hill Mulcher. The Ski Hill Mulcher. Okay, we're good. So send that out there and maybe he will get some business from a throwback enthusiast who needs a Ski Hill Mulcher. Yeah, everyone needs one. But he was at the he show. He was at the show and he uh, he was taking a look at the, um, the Mustang base. Right. So we'll watch that and uh, I, I might appear in it if I can find some footage. Will that be okay? Sure. That's You're fine. okay with that, yeah. even though it's feature Matthew? It could be a special, special okay. guest. Special guest. Okay, let's watch Matthew Quayle, Sights and Sounds of NAM 2019. Not everybody can go. So your insights and uh, experience with this is would be valuable for the throwback viewers, wouldn't sure. you think? Yeah. On to that. Okay, we're just about to enter 2019 Winter NAM here in Anaheim, California, and we are looking forward to many things during this first day at NAM. And we've just ran into our first celebrity, so we want to get an interview with Spinal Tap's very own Derek Smalls. Derek, what do you have to say for yourself? Oh, I... Very good. Well, that's the type of celebrities we'll probably see inside. Who else? We don't know. But we're looking forward to a full day of all sorts of fun and games at NAMM 2019. We're at the Walrus Audio Booth, NAMM 2019, and we have uh, finally seen proof that uh, pedal boards are, are the, are the end final sign of the end of times and here we have living proof right here this is the sound you will hear when you enter heaven <laughs> uh, effect pedal heaven you mean yes effect pedal heaven people who've never had the chance to visit nam haven't had the chance to have the full nam drum experience right now we're going to try to give that to you in a condensed version so the 2019 NAM drum experience right now.
uh, day two, NAM Friday, January 25th. We're here with a very large guitar. And uh, nothing against the guitar, but I have been looking for a very large bass amplifier that I rumor is that it's at NAM. We've looked a long way, so we thought we'd come to someone who might know and interview this guitar. So, large guitar. Have you seen a large bass amp? What say you? He's not talking. I, I think he's sensitive that I'm talking about a bass instrument and it's a guitar. Uh, do, do you have trouble getting uh, intonated? And is it difficult having a, uh, a stop tail tailpiece on a Fender style guitar? Do you have uh, an inferiority complex because of that? The question on everyone's mind at NAMM this year is, does size matter? So we've come to the largest guitar and we're going to ask, does size matter? What say you? says it's it speaks for itself just the size of it it is a bolt-on and we're gonna say goodbye from Nam so we'll, we're on the lookout for that bass though this is a a Fender Lego 57 custom deluxe amplifier the uh, even the knobs look like they're Lego and even the the jewel light if you see the jewel light it's a little piece of Lego it has the little dots and there's uh, the tubes look like they're not made of Lego, though. NAMP 2019, I'm here with Nick Quayle, my brother. Nick Quayle has traveled all the way from Paris, Ontario, and he's going to give us his impressions of this brand new American Performer Mustang bass. It's a string through bass made in California, and he's a bass player. He's played bass longer than I have. So what do you think of this bass? Would you buy this bass? I, I would definitely buy this bass. This is high quality. The action is very good. The fit and finish, the fit of the frets, they don't cut you. Very good value for this beautiful instrument. Did you th do you think they made a, they bastardized it by putting a jazz pickup in the bridge position or what do you think of that? No, I'd have to hear it, but that's an all time favorite for, for getting the highs. I like these, uh, the sort of classic vintage style covered Split coils. Classic Mustang, Fender Mustang pickups. And so you know somebody that used a, uh, a Mustang bass, or you met them. So can you tell us, our viewers, that story? It's a bit of history. It was at the 2003 birthday party for the late Joey Rom Ro Ro Ramon at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York. Now, Joey Ramon, he played in a, in a band that people might know. The Ramones. Oh yes, Joey, the singer of the Ramones, Joey Ramones. So this was a tribute after Joey died in 2002. You said. Yeah, it was a charity. It was a, a birthday party too. And you hang out with a lot of rock stars in your spare time. Is that what you're saying? No, not at all. But at the party afterwards, uh, a mutual. But you were there though. I was there. Yes, unbelievably, all the way from the farm. At the party afterwards, I was introduced to Tina Weymouth of the Talking Heads. And by then, I think I'd had about seven beers, so nothing fazed me. And I said to her, Tina, do you still have that vintage Fender you used on Saturday Night Live? And she said, yes, I do. How did you remember that? And I told her the story of growing up in the country where you had like two black and white channels and how Saturday Night Live was the greatest thing of the week to watch. Saturday Night Live would come in and bring musical performers from far, far away and influence small impressionable children in small rural country towns in Canada. Is that what you're trying to tell us? Well, if I remember correctly, it was 1978 and my older brother said, stay up late. There's this really cool band that's going to be on. And at the time, that was all the new music. And it was just so cool to see this band with a, a female bass player. And of course, playing bass, I was very interested in this. No MTV at this point. No MTV, thank goodness. Okay, so we're giving this a thumbs up. Absolutely. Great one, too. Well, yeah, good. Okay, we're on. We have found the largest Ampeg known to man. It was buried in uh, frozen ice for over 2,000 years. But uh, we, we interviewed the guitar earlier. We found the amp. So we're going to interview the amp now. Do you feel in any way inadequate? Do you miss your mommy and daddy? Do you have any brothers and sisters? I think this thing is a wonderful testimony to modern technology. And things are only getting bigger and better in Southern California. Okay, Matthew, that was it. Your big, your, My big, uh, your big video, NAMM 2019, sounds, sounds with Matthew Quayle. I, I survived that, that SVT did not fall on me. That, that would have been 
catastrophic. I don't know if, if, it, if it, the reviewers can realize how gargantuan that thing was. Y yeah. And apparently yeah. it worked. I never heard it plugged in, but apparently it worked. Apparently it did work. Um, and uh, you had a celebrity sighting associated with that amp, correct? Yeah. The um, what's his name? We interviewed his poster. We interviewed. The poster. Or you interviewed his poster. I think we. Put, I'm gonna find. I think I got footage of that that's in there. Yeah, the the bass, the bass player from uh, Spinal Tap. You actually saw him in his trailer. When we were just leaving, walking by one evening, he was. I guess he was going to go on and MC some something. But he was sitting on a on a couch in character. It wasn't one of the main many star sightings you can have at Nam. Yeah, we actually saw quite a few people, and then when you go, hey, wait a minute, wasn't that? And then they were gone. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. Okay, well, Matthew. Um, so since this did feature you, right? I think it's only appropriate that you do the outro. Oh, okay, I'll do my best. So let's 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 hear it. No, I would. You, you, you've listened to me. I think you've been listening. I've been trying to. Okay. Try to pay attention. <laughs> I give it a shot. No time. Okay, so you, you can give, coach me in case I miss anything. Okay, so as always, uh, thank you for taking uh, this little tour on NAM 2019 with us and the uh, various sights and sounds. Hope you enjoyed that. If uh, you'd like to get notifications on future videos, please uh, click the bell. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And uh, wait a minute. Subscribe. Oh, yes. Please subscribe. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to, to the Throwback uh, channel and you can get all our wonderful videos uh, to come in the future and you'll never miss one. That's the important thing. And as uh, always, we want to thank you for. Uh, wait a minute. Let me get that slogan ready. Uh, thank you for. Uh, uh, you can edit this down. <laughs> now you're rushing me. I can't think. Uh, thank you for letting Throwback be, be part of your search for great guitar tone.